morning. It is Friday and I woke up, went to the gym, which you guys saw. Isn't that an amazing gym for a hotel? I've seen those Theraguns that a lot of YouTubers do sponsorships with. They had like a whole Theragun station that you could like foam roll, which I've never done, but I know it's a big thing that people enjoy doing. They had that, they had a seriously good weight room. Anyways, I came back and I finished editing, I wanted to finish editing the vlog, which hopefully you guys watched yesterday. If not, check it out. That will bring you up to snuff with this vlog. But anyways, so I wanted to finish editing that. I wanted to make my coffee. But remember last night, I was wondering like why I could not get these to turn on. Well, I didn't notice when I came in, but oftentimes they have these where you put your card in and that like activates the electricity so more lights come on. But yeah, I couldn't actually get it to work. I had called the front desk and uh, they sent somebody up to help me get the card in. And once they did that, how it came on. But I was impressed by how quickly they came to help me out. Um, really good service. So yeah, I did the workout. He came and rescued me with the electricity. We fired up the little coffee pot, finished editing, and I am gonna head down for breakfast. So I'll show you my outfit. It is from the Targ, um, so it's nothing fancy. Um, just one of these Modal fabric V-neck tees, whatever kind of faux tuck in here and these green slacks and then these little shoes which are new from target they weren't too expensive they're pretty comfortable except as you can see i've got a little blister there on the top of my foot from breaking them in but otherwise not too shabby this trip i have reignited my love for the cerave healing ointment i have been putting i put it some on my face last night and I woke up and my face was hydrated, moisturized, happy. Sunscreen today, I'm wearing, a viewer sent this to me. It is the Garnier um, Anti-Dryness Super UV. I really like it. I love the tube. It's like made out of recycled, I don't know, cardboard or something. Uh, it's great. Fragrance-free, really good filters. Um, it doesn't burn or stain the eyes. We're gonna head down and check out the breakfast. I will film on my phone if I can, otherwise, you know, I may not. But the breakfast buffet I went down yesterday, wow, it's pretty impressive. They have a ton of really nice looking vegetables and fruits, a lot of different meats, which you guys know I don't, you know, I'm vegan, but a lot of different meats, cereal called umami. Do we have some fruits here, orange and pineapple, some nuts. Then they have these like candied, or sweetened apples or pears. This is, I figured I would try French sugary cereal just to give it a taste. Um, I think it's like Cocoa Puffs. And then we have some edamame. These are these cute little radishes. Mushroom, cucumber, type of lettuce, carrots, coffee, and water. So I went back and got some congee. Breakfast was good. And now I'm headed to the talks. We use repeated exposure, should I say chronic exposures, to low UVA doses. Good morning, everyone. It's my pleasure to be here, to be involved with this meeting, and to share my presentation with Professor Thierry Passeron. So we'll be talking about the impact of uh, sun rays on pigmentation. For what about the blue light we are receiving every day from the screen of our devices? So indeed, it's the same type of wavelength, but what we have to keep in mind is the intensity, the air radiance. And of course, this is not the same. We calculated that the, the intensity that we're receiving for the most powerful uh, uh, screen of devices is 100 to 1000 less intense to, as compared to the blue light we are receiving from the sun. It was divided into two cohorts, one group receiving uh, 12 months of, of uh, daily sunscreen use, uh, while the control group uh, was, was not instructed to, uh, did, did not use sunscreen. And the difference is that over that one year period, clinically and histologically, there was a, a, a reduction of pigmentation in the sunscreen group, where the, whereas in the control group, pigmentation increased. Focus maybe, but uh, uh, is the cheeks uh, uh, and also the keratosis in the hand, and, several several markets and then we in a, in 
an in vitro study, we showed that uh, also in this case, using 3D models, uh, the particulates could induce uh, beta or markers mainly of uh, inflammation, so a much smaller population. And then there is a, a mo most recent study uh, from Jean Krutman where I showed that there was an increase of wrinkle formation if you live uh, in area with a higher zone. Like I got it, rolls there. So you have to take a COVID test in order to get back into the US. So they set up uh, rapid testing here at the hotel for us to take and I passed. I mean, I feel 100% fine. I wasn't worried, but in the back of my mind, I was like, I tested positive, what's gonna happen? So, that's my test. <laughs> so, just here, it's a practical. You see, you have a bumper drop, so, you put in the in the shoe. into a pharmacy and I purchased some sunscreens and one skincare product. I saw this Melascreen UV from Ducre that looked promising, claims to be non-greasy. It is a chemical sunscreen and I also got this one by Bioderma, the Sika Bio SPF 50 plus for a weakened skin exposed barrier. That one likewise looked good. And y'all know I tried Biofeen a while ago and I didn't care for it, but this particular product I wanted to try because it's free of fragrance and I've heard good things about this one. So I wanted to give it a go. Yeah, I wish I'd had more time in there. They had a lot of products <laughs> that I had never heard of before. Like a lot of brands I'd never heard of. They had, you know, Avan, La Roche-Posay, Vichy. restaurant it's called giraffe looked out over the eiffel tower we got to see it light up all glittery and sparkly so that was fun uh, and now i'm back i'm gonna pack because in the morning is i gotta go catch my flight so my flight is like 10 30 ish and i get on the plane i leave here to go i leave for the airport around 7 15 and car is coming to pick me up so i want to make sure i'm packed in case I, I don't like scrambling in the morning, so I'm gonna make sure I'm packed. And then I'm, I've gotta start editing the vlog that needs to go up. Well, this vlog that you're watching now, I need to edit together so you actually can watch it. But yeah, um, oh, so I showed you guys, I showed you guys that I purchased this uh, Biofine and the Bioderma and the Ducre sunscreens, but um, they hooked us up with a SkinCeutical Silamarin CF and also a Vichy Lift Active B3 Serum. We don't have that in the States. And get excited, the Anthelos Uvimune 400, the fluid. I reviewed for you guys the cream, but now I've got the fluid. So that was cool to get, a freebie, to get some freebies. I always take matches from restaurants as a souvenir, but I worry I won't be able to take this through security. <laughs> Darn.
I'm very anti checking in bags, especially on international flights. I feel like I always get burned on that. So I haven't checked bags in years. If I can't fit it in my Ramoa Salsa Air and my carry-on, I don't need it. <laughs> Um, that's my philosophy because I can't stand it when they lose your bag and you're kind of at their mercy and it just drags the trip on when you get home or it delays you like having a good time on your trip. So I don't do that, although it can be uncomfortable waddling through the airport. <laughs> Anyways. But the first place we went was actually the rooftop of this hotel. They have a bar. It's called, it's called Rooftop. I don't know what it's called. Sky Bar and we went up there and they got some drinks and appetizers and then we left to go to the restaurant uh, which was called Giraffe. Yeah, it was fun. Well, hey guys, um, this is much better than last night when I didn't know about the ability to light up the globes. I mean, I suspected that you could, but I just didn't, I just didn't, I just didn't have the knowledge to activate them. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna call it a night I got a decent amount of editing of this vlog, which you're watching right now, up until the point where um, I went in the pharmacy, which I think you guys will enjoy. Um, I did all that on my phone, BT dubs, because I, I didn't really think that it would fly for me to walk in with my vlogging apparatus. So I just did the phone kind of clandestinely. Um, I got some vertical clips for the TikTok and the gram so hopefully i'm able to insert those in a manner that is easy to easy on the eyes anyways um yeah i had a great time i don't want to go home i mean i do i always you know i'm not dreading going home or anything but i'm having such a good time that it'd be great to stay another day i wish i It'd be great to sightsee a little bit. I've been here before. It's not like my first rodeo, but, and I did a lot of the sightseeing the last time I was here, but that was a long time ago, like over 10 years ago. So I could definitely see some more sights in the city, but I'll just have to come back. <laughs> um, I'll have to come back. I really want to go to Italy too. I've never been to Italy, so that would be a nice trip. So many places to visit, but like I said, I don't mind being at home. Um, yeah, so many places to visit. One thing I look forward to, this is the American in me, so feel free to roll your eyes at me, is I look forward to going back to my bottles of, my large liter bottles of water in the fridge. I always find that when I travel, it isn't just in a European country or outside of the country. But I find when I travel, it's just not as accessible. I don't have my waters on hand is what it is. And you might say, well, bring the bottle and refill it. But I did. I have my little A5 water bottle. But it's not always easy to refill. Because the tap water, I didn't try drinking it. I'm sure it's fine. That's not the issue. It's getting, this sounds silly, but I mean, it's, it is what it is. Getting the water bottle up under the tap is actually kind of hard sometimes. Like depending on, the, this sink is wide, but more shallow and that water bottle doesn't fit up under there. There's even a nice water cooler in the gym and the A5 water bottle did not fit underneath. It's too tall. So that's my little, that's my little homesick is my big waters because I drink those and I can t I can tell I feel I don't feel dehydrated but I can just tell that I'm not as I'm not as hydrated as I could be but that's okay I it's worth it <laughs> to see see some sights I had a great time at that restaurant that was a lot of fun meeting people it's always nice when people are like really outgoing because you guys know I'm introverted, so I can easily just hang out by myself, but I really enjoy meeting other people, but I'm not like going to make make the move. So it's always nice if somebody like extends the offer to invite you along, and I had a really good time. But now I am, I think I'm gonna watch some YouTube to just kind of zone out and then go to sleep because I'm going to try and wake up early again tomorrow. Um, hopefully I can, maybe, maybe I can go to the gym tomorrow. Who knows? But, uh, 
they're gonna come and get me at, at 7 15 so i'm pretty i have finished packing i got i'm about 78 percent packed which is good enough the other 22 percent is like what i'm wearing now um some of my power cords aren't packed up because they're charging stuff and my i might go to the gym in the morning so i'll lift that stuff out oh i was gonna tell you guys I hope you all are having a good time with me. So tomorrow, I don't think I'm going to have much time at the airport. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. If I do, then we can check out CDG, Charles D. Gall. <laughs> um, I just, I said that cringy on purpose to be silly. Um, we can check that out. And then it's back on the plane. And one thing I didn't tell you guys where we last left off when I was on the plane in yesterday's video, I was scrolling through the movies and what did I watch? I watched uh, f Just Four Days, I think it was called, which I told you I watched that. That was really good. Then I watched... Um, I can't remember what it was called. I want to say The Downfall. <sighs> Something like that. It was really good, too. And then I couldn't find anything else on there that looked good or that I started a couple of movies and only made it like two or three minutes in and I knew it wasn't for me. So I finally settled on Reservoir Dogs because I can rewatch that over and over again. I love that movie, but I didn't make it all the way through because the plane landed. So maybe I'll watch more Reservoir Dogs tomorrow. Although I did see they had Dune and there was something else on there. Not on my flight, not on my Air France flight, but on my Delta flight to Atlanta, they had, um, House of Gucci, which I wanted to see, but I didn't want to start it on my Atlanta flight because I didn't think I would be able to finish it, and I don't want to start something I can't finish. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I'm going to wrap this up for tonight, and I will see you in the morning. <laughs> Well, hey guys, we made it to the airport and I'm on the plane. Hopefully, we take off on like the tumultuous arrival situation. Um, I didn't film this, but I got to go into the uh, Air France lounge. They had like little snacks, coffee, and I didn't have much time in there because I got here in a good amount of time so I didn't have to wait much but uh, yeah they had like like a breakfast they had like eggs sausage baked beans fruit yogurt pastries coffee tea juice and then um, I saw that they had a thing you could go and take a shower they had a sauna I didn't go look at it because I didn't have time and they also you could get a Clarence facial that would be a fun thing to vlog, getting a facial. I always just put a bunch of perfume on your face. Um, so I went in there just to check it out. I had a Coke Zero, a little mini can. I mean, that took all of 11 minutes to do all that, and then I think we got on the plane. I woke up early this morning. I don't know if I vlogged this. I think I vlogged myself going to the gym. I can't remember now. It seems like a long time ago. Um, so I went for a short run, not my usual run distance, I just ran for 30 minutes. So, they give you a coat if you want, and I just find that, like, if you had a coat, why would you want to hang out right there? That just seems like it would take up all of the space. Let me show you these things. I've got our buttons here. This is for the earphones, I would definitely be firing that up. We've got our hidden water bottle back there, and barf bag. That's what those are for, right? When I was growing up, that's what I was always told they were for. But they're not like labeled on it. And they don't seem like they are sturdy enough to hold 
vomit. Uh, are any of you guys who watch me flight attendants? I feel like at one point I had some flight attendants that would watch my videos because you would ask about air skincare for air, air travel for a long flight. And I do have a video on that, by the way. Um, but I think I'm going to do these again. I, I did these on the way here and pretty much finished with this bag. These are the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. They have UV Quinone, which is an antioxidant. It actually has pretty good skin penetration. And Arctic Cloudberry Seed Oil, it's just an emollient. Jojoba Seed Oil. And it's got some peptides in it, which can have a working effect. I think I might wait until we are closer to landing time. I'm definitely going to do that. Ooh, I've got an empty. If I finish this, I'll have an empty. I get excited over empties. I decided to just wear the same thing that I wore yesterday to dinner because it's pretty comfortable for travel. Um, this is a Target Modal V-neck too. And I've got these like lightweight joggers on. I'm wearing running shoes. Last night I wore those flats, but I'm wearing my running shoes and yeah. <coughs> comfortable. Yeah. So let me read some of this book that I impulsively purchased on the way here. If you missed yesterday's vlog, which if you missed yesterday's vlog you need to go watch it. Honestly. <coughs> Missing out. This is kind of like a female version of Nicholas Sparks. I mean, Nicholas Sparks books are their target audience, I feel like, is mostly women, but this is just a female author version. Colleen Hoover. She lives in Texas, according to her bio. Does anybody else feel like the bios on authors are just a little bit too brief? Like, they kind of give you a little inkling of something, but you want to know more. I always feel that way. Like, they'll say something like, she has two children and splits her time between Seattle and you know, Egypt or something, and you're like, okay, what's the backstory there? I give you a little nugget. And every time you buy another book or get another book by that author, you're always like, at least if you're like me, you're always looking at their bio again to see if they updated, gave me a little inkling of new information. Yeah. Baby. juice. Drink the juice. Pendant le voyage, le décollage et l'atterrissage, veuillez redresser votre siège, ranger les portes ouvertes, la tablette et les robots de jambes. got a little laundry going comment below are you someone who unpacks like immediately when you get home or do you like put it off I always want to unpack the second I get home like I can't even focus on anything else <laughs> I have to just do it because I don't I don't know I don't like the idea of just like my suitcase sitting there likewise when I arrive at the hotel or destination I have to un you know get all my stuff put away and everything I don't like to have it sitting in the suitcase I had a really great flight. I watched a movie about Harriet Tubman that was really good. Harriet, I highly recommend it. That was enjoyable. 
Um, and I got a little bit of work done, took a nap, and then I started to watch American Sniper, which was really good. I didn't get to finish it though, but yeah, the flight flew by and I'm back. I had a fantastic time. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me when you're watching this. Obviously, I made it home, so I should be able to get this vlog up for you in time for Sunday. But thank you so much if you made it this far. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.